Okay, so now we have yet another example which tells us the power of for loop. So what is it that you see here? The much familiar tables of 2, right? We all have memorized this in our school days. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, up to 2 10s are 20, right? So as I execute this, I get the tables on this side. Why? That's because I use a print statement on this side of the um, um, the replit uh, uh, portal and I get the output on this side right so far so good now the point is uh, what, what, what does your mind tell you right now what, 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 what is commonsensical for a programmer right now this appears a little tedious why would anyone do this I see a pattern here I see a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 here and I see multiples of 2 here on this side Right? So is there any way I can automate this using a for loop? Let me try doing that. As and always, let me comment this. Just so that it doesn't get executed. Yeah, I have commented this and nothing gets executed. Now, let me encapsulate this in a for loop. How do I do that? I would say for i in range 11. Why do I say 11? Let's say 10 and see what happens. Okay, print two times i. You see, this is a, this is a string. It just just displays as it is inside the print statement, and then i will be the value zero here. Okay, and then comma, then quotes is equal to, and then again comma, and what should it display? It should display two times i. Okay, let me let me just go ahead and execute this without worrying about accuracy. I have a feeling I should get the same thing, right? But I think I will not get it. You would have guessed why. <laughs> there will be a small mistake here. Although there will be no error in the execution of the program, the output will not be similar. Perfect. You see what's happening? It is starting from 0 and going up to 9. Okay? That's because when you say range 10, it goes up to 9. When you say range 11, it will go up to, I guessed it right go up to 10 so it starts from 0 and goes up to 10 but uh, if you're wondering why can't we get rid of this 2 into 0 is equal to 0 there's a smart way of doing it i will just type something here please note i'll say 1 comma 11 and that would help me get rid of 2 cross 0 now you see it became executed and it started with 2 cross 1 what is this what is this new thing that was not discussed so far range of 1 comma 11 means start from 1 go up to 11 minus 1 that is 10 if you simply say 5 comma 11 it will start from 5 and go up to 11 minus 1 that is 10 let's execute perfect starts from 5 and goes up to 10 um, so can you guess what will happen if i start from let's say 15 and go up to 35 can you take a second and then tell me what will be the output of this? It will be outside the tables that we have memorized, of course. <laughs> it, it starts from 2 times 15 and goes up to 2 times 34. 2 times 15 is 30, 2 times 16 is 32, 2 times 17 is 34 and so on. Up to 2 times 34 is 68. It doesn't go up to 35, it goes up to 1 less which is 34. Now, not only did you encapsulate the idea of multiplication tables using for loop, you also saw how range can be used to not just start from 0 and go up to 10 as in the case of uh, this as we execute you get 2 times 0 to 2 times 9 but if you start with 1 comma and then go up to 11 you will get exactly this okay you also understood how range can be used in a slightly different form right now uh, go ahead try to see if you can display all tables starting from 2 to 3 to 4 up to 9 can you display all tables i mean in a in a for loop like this is it easy 